welcome to another teaching tip video. Um, a while ago, we uh, recorded a really popular video about helping students to notice and record chunks. And today we're talking about having students use it. Now you might be wondering, what is a chunk exactly? Just uh, in case you haven't watched a previous video, which you can do here, we'll link to it. Um, so chunk, a chunk is a group of words that like each other's company. You'll often see them together. It can be a completely fixed phrase, like uh, many happy returns of the day. Um, or it could be something that you can manipulate, like, I just can't believe you did that which could be, I just can't believe she did that or something like that. Uh, so that's a chunk. In this video, we'll look at three big ideas uh, for helping your learners use chunks. The first activity is called Hum the Chunk. And it's something that focuses on intonation and kind of the melody of these phrases. So let's imagine you've got a class of 12 students and you've been working on some chunks recently. So what I do is I give out a chunk to each pair of students. It's a secret, they can't show it to anyone else. Let's say one of the chunks is, uh, I can't take it anymore. And they need to write a mini conversation, which they read out to the class then. But instead of saying, I just can't take it anymore, they hum the chunk. So they would go, <laughs> And then the others need to guess what the chunk was. The next one is not so much one activity per se. Um, it's more like a reminder uh, that chunks are vocabulary items. And so you can put them on flashcards. Instead of putting an individual word uh, on your flashcard, uh, for example, wrong, you can put the phrase, something's wrong with it. And whether this is an actual box of cards, vocabulary cards, or a Quizlet set, or any other variation, um, the key principle is the same. All the wonderful activities that you are already doing with vocabulary cards, such as palmanism or memory game, Pictionary, uh, taboo, really anything, you can do with chunks. You can get your students to use chunks this way. And last but not least, the third idea, well, it wouldn't be us, would it, if we didn't talk about the power of interactive video quizzes in getting your students to use chunks. Let me show you an example. In this video uh, called Next Life, um, a grandmother is uh, teaching her grandson a secret handshake, complicated and secret handshake. And then in a moment, we'll get a question about this. And so here's our question. So we can see the sun's writing it down. What's that for? And we need to put the words in order. So you're wondering, oh, that's a big chunk. <laughs> but it's one of those cases where it's not a fixed expression. It's more of like a sentence pattern using so in order to express a purpose, yeah? To answer the question, why is someone doing something? So that's what students need to do here. Answer this question with so. They're getting a little bit of scaffolding here because they just need to put the words in the correct order. But then see what happens with the next question. Thank you. Should we check again? So here's an alternative. Um, again, a question about comprehension, kind of visual comprehension, but also interpreting what you see. Why did they need to work out such a complicated handshake? And there are three chunks here, three options with so. So the same sentence pattern which students can practice in order to find the right meaning, the one that fits the video best. And so this video is about getting your students to use chunks. So you could be making a video quiz for them, or as we often suggest on the channel, you can get the students to create their own video quizzes for each other and for the class. My final idea is about one of the most powerful ways to really get someone to use and learn a word or a phrase, a chunk, which is recontextualization, putting it in a different context to deepen our understanding. So in this video quiz, um, we hear the phrase, how about some milk? Just watch so you can see what the context is. I bet he's hungry. How about some milk? Ooh, I'd love some. Not you, the baby. Well, I ain't exactly lactating right now, pal. You're a little low on the food chain to be mouthing off.
Okay, so as you see, the question here actually focuses on the different kind of functions that have us and milk can have. And once you have established that, one thing students can do is they can go away and try and search for another video where you could use the phrase, how about some milk? Let me show you what I mean. So they find this clip in which uh, Scooby-Doo is looking at the cat and they create an interactive video quiz at this point. And the question is just, what could Scooby-Doo say at this point to the cats? How about some milk? Sounds like a good idea. Alternatively, because we actually know that life is not just about interactive video quizzes, you can get the students to find a GIF uh, that goes well with that particular chunk that illustrates that chunk. Uh, let me show you what I found for how about some milk. So there, recontextualization, very powerful learning technique. Okay, um, that was it for today. Uh, we hope you liked our ideas for getting students to use chunks productively after exposing students to chunks receptively. Uh, we'll be back soon with another Teaching the Video. If you have any questions or comments, then uh, let us know and we'd love to help. Um, see you soon. Bye.